yeah, the Murfreesboro game, Mount Ida game was uh, low scoring, was really low scoring. Honestly, I thought, considering how bad Smackover beat Horatio like a drum last year, I thought it was going to be the same song, different verse. Yeah, we, were, then, we were really competitive against uh, Smackover. I was, mm-hmm. I was good. And Smackover is, is kind of, from, from what I've looked at their record and stuff and their players, Smackover's a little up and down. They, yeah. they, they, uh, they're, they're not they're not real consistent. They can have a really good team one year and then and then kind of be down the next. And you never you, you really don't know what you're going to get with smack over year over year. Uh, Ashdown is a lot the same way. Ash, Ashdown you don't Ash, Ashdown can put together a really good team and they'll have a pretty good record. And then that next year uh, they'll be fairly highly rated, but they'll just they'll drop out of the top ten. Yeah. Oh, yeah, kind of up and down. Junction City, I don't really know anything about next week. I, I need to read up on them. I read up a little bit. I, I glanced at up a little bit yeah. on the way down. And they were all right. They they not they did not they did not come in and dominate the 3A the way they dominated in 2A. The, the level of competition really changed. And I think you, you're probably talking about a fairly significant step up when you're when you're going from 2 to 3A. I'm not sure that the, the step from 3A to 4A, I mean, there's a step there in terms of competitiveness, but I don't think it's as big as 2A to 3A. 3A to 4A was a little bit of a step for us when I was in high school. It was. Right. Boonville has kind of uh, bounced back and forth. I mean, they were 4A, and then they dropped down to 3A. But when they they did, they were doing really good in 4A, but when they dropped to 3A, it actually got a little more competitive for them. They... they it was, it was a little different. That surprised me. I figured they would dominate 3A, but they did not dominate the 3A when they dropped to that. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes, some things come in cycles, though, too. Mm-hmm. Like in the SEC, though, too. Missouri came into the SEC and got rolling early, and then it kind of leveled out and across the board. A&M came out guns blazing early, and they've, right. they're still working on trying to get their stuff, get their momentum going. I think A&M will get it going eventually. You think so? Yeah. I honestly, I thought Jimbo Fisher would have at least won the SEC West once, right. and maybe the SEC championship by the right. time by now. Right. But I'm also the guy who bought so much Chad Morris stock. I'm still <laughs> eating that. I'm still waiting for that bond that to pay off. Right. Well, you know. Yeah. We all we win some, we lose some. I uh, I'm, I'm still happy with uh, Pittman. I am Pittman. too. I'm, I'm happy with Pittman. There's a lot of people that have been. Dissatisfied with him this season, but you know I, I think he's, he's doing fine. We've we've been we've been pretty competitive. It's a it's a new offensive system. It's a, yeah. The defense has come. The defense is really good. If the yeah. offense can get the, get some momentum and get some traction going, I think they're going to be really good. Yeah, not not as many wins this season as what we'd liked, but you know it, it, it was kind of a rebuilding year yeah, a little they, bit for them. They've been competitive. Yes, I, I haven't been. I haven't been dissatisfied. No, I haven't either. 